This is Storytellers and Story Sellers live on tape. You're listening to Vineet Kanabar on the IBM Podcast Network. Each episode of this show, we talk to someone who's creating or someone who's in the business of creation. Being a creator has come to mean so many different things. I've had the good fortune of talking to people who are creating for the big screen, the small screen, the really small screen, no screen, just for your ears. All of these episodes you can find if you scroll up or down on the feed of this show. If you like listening to me talk to creators, rate the show, share it with your friends and tell them that there is a show called Storytellers and Storytellers where we talk to amazing, awesome creators like Neha Doodles, our guest on today's episode. Hi Neha, welcome to Storytellers and Storytellers. Hi Vineet, uh, happy to be here. I want you to confirm to my audience that your last name is indeed Doodles. You have officially changed <laughs> yes, it, Yes, right? uh, it is indeed my surname. Guys, I'm totally kidding. My surname is Sharma, but if you if you actually write this on the Spotify podcast name featuring Neha Sharma, I don't think anybody is going to know who that is. Nobody really knows my surname. That's amazing. I think Doodles is is like, not that Sharma is a bad surname, it's just common. Doodles is just like such a powerful surname, yes. right? What does Neha do? Neha doodles. Exactly. It's a verb and it's also a noun. Matab Neha K right? doodles and Neha does doodles. Both of those That's things. That's amazing, right? I, I love it. What are words that are verbs and nouns together called? They're called jirans, aren't they? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, that's me being a grammar nerd, but <laughs> we're going to move past that. Neha, so glad to have you on the show. I'm very excited. I think for some reason, very rarely featured artists and illustrators on the show. I'm going to have a chat with Saurabh, who's also a Sharma, about <laughs> that. But I'm excited to have you on. Yeah, There's lots that I want to, want to ask you. But the first thing that I want to ask you is, how did this come about? I mean, I read somewhere that you were trying to become a CA, right? I don't want to uncover any, any painful memories if anything is coming up. My, I'm sorry. My entire personality and my entire uh, career is made out of making doodles and making jokes out of my childhood trauma and out of like uh-huh. whatever I've been through. So like this CA also, I've played it like it ni to many curry ni jitna many iska PR le liya ki CA chodke doodling kari, <laughs> CA chodke doodling kari. So honestly, it's not a very glamorous story. And this is something I tell everybody. So I'll try to like rephrase it so that if somebody is listening to me for the second time, it doesn't feel like they're listening to it twice. So thoda sa flex karungi pehle. I was sort of an overperforming kid in school. Uh, you know, those mm-hmm. kids that are popular and who are like backbenchers and poor sal parte nahi hai, but last me do mahine parte and achhe marks aagate. So I was that. So I was very, very overconfident in school, especially after my 12th. And I was like, I can do anything. I mean, you give me a difficult thing, I'll do it. And uh, math was like my favorite subject. So, right. subject. So, chartered accountancy felt like the obvious choice uh, given I had commerce with maths. And I realized that math is not in maths. I mean, as much as math is in maths, we do it with calculators. Anyways, you don't like require your uh, mind for it. So, I started doing CA. Like halfway through, I realized that nahin, was not something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I couldn't like picture myself becoming a CA. Like when people ask, where do you see yourself five years from now? I used to think definitely not doing CA. So I realized it, but I didn't really have like a backup plan. I didn't know that if I leave it, then what will I do? Because also when you're doing CA, you can't do regular college. So even though I had a good percentage. I was, wasn't was like going to a college. So I thought, I'll leave graduation bhi new year. Main CA dungi, I'll have to start from scratch. Plus, upar se, doodling is a skill that is not really considered a skill. It's not a valid skill to earn money from. You will never see like an Indian parent come to your room and say, Beta, kuch nahi hota, CA nahi hori, artist ban jao. Plus, upar se, artist wale ki to PR <laughs> bahut gandi thi us time pe. Paise waise kuch kamate the nahi wo log. Artists usually us time pe ye consider kiya jata tha ki padhai badhai nahi ho rahi hai matlab duniya se like it's a phase ki bas lage hue hain apne usme karne mein aur society se bilkul nikal diya gaya hai aur art kar rahe hain aisa i am sure har jagah nahi hota tha mere ghar mein thodi si aisi uski image thi so doodling was not the obvious choice 
बट सी ए इज अ वेरी क्रिएटिवली लिमिटिंग फील्ड लाइक बट देर इज नथिंग क्रिएटिव हैपनिंग देर इज जस्ट लाइक अगर एक बैलेंस शीट में अगर ये वाली प्रॉब्लम आ रही है तो एक ही उसका आंसर ऐसा नहीं है कि तुम क्रिएटिवली सोचोगे तो कोई और आंसर निकल आएगा तो टू सॉर्ट ऑफ मेकअप फॉर दैट आई यूज टू आई हैव ऑलवेज बिन अ डूडलर मतलब आई यूज टू डूडल द बैक ऑफ माई नोट बुक्स न्यूज पेपर में शाहरुख खान की फोटो के ऊपर मूछे बना रही हूँ कटरीना कैफ के नोज के ऊपर नोज हुप्स बना रही हूँ ग्रीटिंग कार्ड बना रही हूँ फ्रेंड्स के लिए बचपन में तो डूडलिंग हमेशा से थी नोटबुक के पीछे टीचर के डूडल्स बन रहे थे मजाक उड़ रहा था क्लास से बाहर निकाला जाता था ये हमेशा से था बट इसको कभी भी मैंने यूटिलाइज नहीं किया सो व्हेन आई वाज डूइंग सीए सोशल मीडिया वाज जस्ट लाइक फ्लरिशिंग तब धीरे धीरे एंड आई वाज लाइक वेरी एक्टिव ऑन ट्विटर आई मेड अ फेसबुक पेज एंड आई यूज टू पोस्ट माई डूडल्स ऑन ट्विटर एंड उसमें जब वो स्ट्रेंजर्स से वैलिडेशन मिलती है ना लव इट लव इट सो मच मतलब मेरे को लगा कि लाइक like, घर में आज तक कभी भी मम्मी ने जैसे कुछ पेरेंट्स होते हैं बट आई गो ऑफ ट्रैक बहुत ज्यादा मेरे को बीच में रोक देना है गो ऑफ ट्रैक तो जैसे कुछ पेरेंट्स होते हैं कि बच्चे ने गंदी सी एकदम इतनी गंदी सी वो बनाई होगी पोर्ट्रेट या लैंडस्केप और वट और उसको फ्रिज पे लगा देंगे कि ओ बच्चा हमारा आर्टिस्ट मैं चाहे मोनालिसा बना दू मेरी मम्मी को बता चलो ठीक है कर रहे हैं कुछ सो मेरे को कभी घर में लेकिन ये आपकी ओवर अचीवमेंट का हो सकता है मतलब टिक तो तब मुझे हम हनी सिंह के ऊपर एक डूडल बनाएंगे सो आई मेड लाइक दिस फाइव इज टू ब्रेकअप विद योर गर्ल फ्रेंड एंड तो उसमें उसके लिरिक्स के हिसाब से आई टू डूडल की ड्रिंक फोर बॉटल्स ऑफ वोट का लाइक टू दिस टू दैट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ डूडल एंड को इंसिडेंटली टेलीग्राफ कैलकटा वॉज डूइंग एन आर्टिकल ऑन हनी सिंह एंड दे आस्क मी कैन वी लाइक यूज दिस डूडल अलॉन्ग साइड आर आर्टिकल एंड आई वॉज लाइक श्योर ऑफकोर्स मतलब मेरे लिए तो नेक्स्ट लेवल वैलिडेशन की न्यूज पेपर में आएगा डूडल so i said yeah of course sure please go ahead and they did and they asked me like uh, what do you want in return and i didn't realize that they were asking me do you want money i thought that they are oh. asking normally ki matlab maine kaha mujhe credit de dena mera twitter ka username likh dena niche and they did and that is when a graphic designer approached me ki really loved your work would you like to draw something for this restaurant that i am working with now this scenario played out like this graphic designer was working for a restaurant and he used my designs and sold it off as his own ki maine banaya ye and of course i was just very mind blown with the whole idea ki this can earn me money and now like i did so much work for that restaurant and like even now if like a beginner illustrator would charge for it they would charge like 20 to 30000 for it and i remember charging 200 rupees for that because mujhe wait, laga wait, ki wait, wait. Which year was this in? This was six, seven years ago. Wait, But you charge two hundred rupees for something? Because, ha, because मुझे मुझे तब नहीं पता था कि illustrator क्या होते हैं या like graphic designer भी because like I was I think I was twenty five, no twenty four, twenty five. But still I was very clueless with the whole designing industry. मेरे को सिर्फ अपना C A accountant और ये वाली सारी lines पता थी. तो मुझे लगा कि अच्छा और I was not considering myself a designer by that point. I was just considering myself as a person who's drawing as a hobby. And मेरे को लगा कि और मेरे को तो I was just very mind blown with the whole idea that I'll get to work with a restaurant and somebody is going to pay me for that. So also was not really um, clear about the whole scope of work. But anyways, so तब मैंने वो draw किया और अपने designs दिए. and that was like a ऐसे eureka moment ki bhai is skill se paise kamaye ja sakte hain and that is when i decided that i need to learn more of it and then i like started putting out on my page as well that i'm looking for work if somebody wants to do this and that and etc etc and then i used to like um see these youtube videos of other designers how to work what are the terms and protocols and everything but that is like that one moment when i realized ki this is a skill that can help me earn money and by that time i was also doing ca so uh, but then i reached like this one point like this one breakdown point where i realized you know ca if i continue and if i by chance if i do like if i clear all my exams then i have to like do ca only because tab to mujhe koi nahi chhodne dega 
तो फिर मेरे को लगा तो मैंने फाइनल एग्जाम से पहले आफ्टर डूइंग लाइक माय इंटर्नशिप अंडर अ सीए फॉर थ्री इयर्स आई वाज लाइक ना अब तो छोड़ना पड़ेगा एंड योर आर्टिकल शिप या द आर्टिकल शिप यस माय गॉड I have never heard. I mean, I don't never understand why it's called the article ship. But anyway, that's not the subject. That is because you're an article. You're an article under the CA. Oh right, right. That kind of makes sense. I want to ask you this, right? And thank you for that. I think that's a very honest introduction, right? I mean, <laughs> saying that you charge two hundred rupees for something clearly shows that hey, you were not prepared for this as your lifestyle, right? You were prepared for balance sheet and taxation, exactly. right? Who planned? Like in my plan head, I was also undervaluing the whole art wala thing. Me, ko lag raha tha kaun dega iske hazar rupee, right? So, wo wala jo dimag me galat ek thinking baithi hui thi, uski wajah se I sort of underpriced the whole art thing. Yeah, and cut to now where you have management with you. You're with with Neil and Iplex, right? That, yeah. The, the guys who work with you. I spoke to Neil a couple of episodes ago, and I asked him on an episode that there was an episode with Saloni that we were doing, and I asked him who is the one creator that you're most excited about, and he said Neha Doodles, and I was like, that's the next person we'll talk to. So Neha, <laughs> help me understand this, right? And I want you to spend some time in that state of mind when you were switching over from CA to to art, right? Up now. In my head, when you're 25, 26, you've spent, you know, five, six years almost in the state of mind saying, "Ye mera career path hai. Main is cheez ke liye pad rahi hu." And I, I relate very, very much to this. My oldest friend from childhood is a failed CA, right? He's been doing, trying to, he tried to do CA for like maybe eight years or something. And two types of rule changes happened, and he's just yeah. like, "Okay, fine, I'm going to start a business." He's a very successful entrepreneur now, owns multiple businesses, but for ten years in life. He was just in that state of mind. Yeah, see, करना है, see, करना है, see, करना है. पहले क्या PCC नहीं निकल रहा है, फिर दूसरा क्या CPT नहीं निकल रहा है. All of these things were happening. It's a very tough state of mind to be in, right? I think for people who don't know, I think the Indian CA exam has the lowest clearance rate in the world of most yeah, competitive exams. Yeah, three percent, four percent. This is also very good. Like if it's four percent, तो तब wow, इस साल तो बहुत अच्छा निकला. Yeah. हाँ, इस साल demand बहुत थी शायद. Yeah, and Again, I think Saurabh Sharma, <laughs> my producer and, and my man here, is also a CA dropout. So it's a very taxing sort of space to be in there, right? Like for you, it, it's wonderful that you discovered this other hobby that you seem to have found validation about. People are saying, "Hey, you're good at this." But what was your state of mind then, right? And and how was the environment in the home? I mean, I love. How you said in the intro that mummy, I can't do this. That it's not going to happen. That it's not going to happen. But yeah. that conversation, I, I'm just, I'm just imagining someone's mom standing behind them and being like, you know, salary is being paid. Well, son, nothing happens. If you don't get your balance sheet, you cut it. But what, what actually happened in in your house, right? How did that conversation go? What was your state of mind? I'd love to know. So uh, my mother is a single mother, and I am an only child. So all of her dreams, hopes, aspirations. कि खानदान का दिया आगे चलाना लाइक एवरी थिंग इज बेस्ड ऑन मी तो नाउ वेन योर किड इज लाइक हैज गुड स्कोर एंड इज नाउ डूइंग सी ए तो अब उन्होंने तो ये नहीं देखा कि अभी सी ए हुई नहीं है एज सुन एज यू क्लियर योर एंट्रेंस एग्जाम विच इज सी पी टी उन्होंने ये सपने संजोने शुरू कर दिए हैं कि अब बच्चा सी ए बन के ही निकलेगा बट ऑल्सो ये शुरू में बहुत लोगों को नहीं पता होता हु डोंट हैव द प्रॉपर गाइडेंस लाइक मी कि बोलने की बात है कि सीए चार साल की है सीए चार साल की नहीं होती वो तो जब तक तुमसे क्लियर नहीं हो रहा तब तक तुम बैठे हुए हो करने के लिए और करे जा रहे हो exactly. करे जा रहे हो सो नाउ माय मदर वाज ऑलरेडी सोल्ड ऑन द आइडिया दैट माई डॉटर इज गोइंग टू बिकम अ सी एंड मैं सी नेहा शर्मा की मम्मी कहलाऊंगी तो मेरी मम्मी ने ये डायलॉग बहुत मारती थी कि मतलब जब तू सीए बन जाएगी ना तो ऐसे लोग कैसे मैं रोड पे जा रही हूँ तो लोग ऐसे पॉइंट करके बोलेंगे देखो सीए नेहा शर्मा की मम्मी जा रही है आई डोंट नो वाई एंड हाउ ऐसा कभी नहीं होता बट जस्ट लाइक माय मदर सॉल्ट ऑफ दर्थ इंडियन पेरेंट ड्रीम है यार ये, ये होते हैं इंडियन पेरेंट्स आप समझ रहे हो सो so, ये मेरी मम्मी का सपना था कि ऐसा होगा एंड मेरा सो देर इज द फर्स्ट इज एंट्रेंस इज कॉल्ड यूज टू बी कॉल्ड सी पी टी एंड द नेक्स्ट वन वॉज वॉज आई पी सी सी आई पी सी सी में दो ग्रुप्स होते हैं फर्स्ट ग्रुप में चार पेपर सेकेंड ग्रुप में तीन पेपर फर्स्ट ग्रुप इज अपेरेंटली टफर मैंने वो दिया मेरा हो गया एक बार में फिर उसके बाद तुम्हारी आर्टिकलशिप शुरू हो जाती है तीन साल की विच इज एन इंटर्नशिप अंडर अ सी ए उसके बाद उस इंटर्नशिप के अंदर ही अंदर यू हैव टू लाइक क्लियर योर सेकेंड ग्रुप विच इज थ्री पेपर्स नाउ दो वो थ्री पेपर्स में विच इज सपोज टू बी ईजियर 
मैं पहले पहली बार बिना पढ़े गई कि चलो ऐसे ही चले जाते हैं पहला अटैम्प्ट मैंने ऐसे ही बिना पढ़े दे दिया एंड सी में क्या होता है कि अगर जैसे तीन पेपर्स हैं तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो तुम्हें तीनों में फोर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट से अब लेके आने हैं प्लस टोटल में तीनों के फिफ्टी परसेंट से ऊपर बनना चाहिए सो इवन इफ लाइक तीनों में तुम्हारे फोर्टी 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 से ऊपर आ गए बट तुम्हारा टोटल फिफ्टी से कम बन रहा है तो तुम टोटल तीन के तीन में फेल हो मतलब इट्स नॉट लाइक तुम एक में पास हो सकते हो या दो में पास हो सकते हो तो पहली बार मैंने अपना ये अटैम्प्ट दिया मेरे तीनों में फोर्टी परसेंट प्लस आए लेकिन मेरा टोटल में फिफ्टी परसेंट नहीं आया सो आई फेल तो नाउ आई वॉज वेरी ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट कि बिना पढ़े फोर्टी परसेंट से ऊपर आ गए तो मेरे को सब पांच छह पांच छह परसेंट ही बढ़ानी है सेकंड वाले अटैम्प्ट में तो सेकंड वाले में मैं पढ़ के गई बट लाइक डेंट गिव माई हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड उसमें मेरे ट्वेंटी परसेंट आए ट्वेंटी थर्टी परसेंट फिर उसके बाद तीसरे वाले पेपर तीसरा अटैम्प्ट दिया मैंने तीसरे अटैम्प्ट में मैंने फोन बंद कर दिया अपना बिल्कुल घर से बाहर जाना बंद कर दिया यूज टू लाइक स्टडी फॉर सिक्स सेवन आवर्स एंड आर्टिकल शिप से मैंने थोड़ी टेम्प्रेरी लीव ले रखी थी एंड आई गेव लाइक माई हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट मतलब दैट इज द मैक्स दैट आई कुड है इवन देन आई डेंट पास इट तो मुझे ये तो रियलाइज हो गया दैट सी ए इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी इजी स्पेशली द फाइनल अटैम्प्ट एंड इसमें क्या होता है मतलब इट जो वेन यू हेयर इट की फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट हुआ सेकेंड अटैम्प्ट नहीं हुआ इट इट्स जस्ट लाइक something that you hear but the person that who's going through it na it's i can't like describe it even though i don't want to use the word depression very casually but it is i don't know i that mental stage of mind i feel like i was depressed of course i didn't go to a therapist i wasn't diagnosed but i was majorly depressed and like every night i used to have like a breakdown i used to again i am using this word but i used to have like very suicidal thoughts ki what if i just like sleep today and don't wake up the next day aise aise karke mujhe thoughts aate the and it was not a good state of mind to be in and jaise kisi shaadi mein jao get together mein jao everybody used to ask ki acha beta fir ca kaisi chal rahi hai ho gayi tumhari to ye pura scenario was getting to my head i was like my mental health was deteriorating day by day and i also realized that this ca is not meant like it's not based on me it's not that i am lacking effort it also has to do a lot with the system of how people are graded in this to isliye mere ko laga ki i don't think this is worth my time especially because i don't also see myself enjoying it agar mujhe maza aa raha hota then i might have like gone on to give more attempts and started doing more of it but mujhe khud ko realize ho gaya ki i am killing myself for something that i don't really like and uh, then i had like a very long very stressful conversation with my mother and she was not really sold on the idea but then i convinced her in the sense that ca mein kya hota hai ki you can still leave it matlab main do teen attempts chhod du beech mein aur fir uske baad i could just come back to it so i told her ki i am going to take a break of like a year i am going to give myself that time if i figure out what i want to do then great i'll leave it but if i don't then i come back and ca to padi hai yahan pe kabhi bhi kar sakte ho wapas aake so it was really hard for her as well because of course she wants to see me independent and like taking care of my own finances and everything so and she also didn't really understand the whole world of social media especially like 5 years back jab social media was still flourishing and i didn't really have examples to show her ki ye bhi kar raha hai ye bhi kar raha hai so she didn't really grasp the whole idea of it but she did really she did understand ki chalo theek hai ek saal baad she'll come back to it so that really helped man that sounds like a very tough very tough time in life right and i'm i'm glad that you found the middle ground that you were also looking at like that that whole aspect of taking a break right retrenching looking at the bigger picture finding maybe answers and solutions in your own mind i think that's a very very intelligent way of approaching it right? very okay okay wait i don't need to look for an answer right now what i really need to look for is the time to find the answer and that's very very important very interesting i'm going to go into a quick break and on the other side we'll talk a little bit more about your journey we'll talk about your art your inspirations how you're looking to build a career as neha doodles we're having a fabulous chat with neha on storytellers and story sellers go nowhere and we're back this is storytellers and story sellers we're talking to neha doodles and we were discussing neha's journey from being from trying to be a ca to discovering how her art can save her career and life and move forward into something beautiful that she's put together now i want to ask you this right i'm also a little bit of a doodler but to consider that what you want to do is and and as your sort of public face as a creator right it takes a lot of a lot of understanding a lot of inspiration a lot of trying to figure what is it that you're going to put together right in traditional comic art there are like 
two or three schools that you see. You have the whole sort of comic key, comic book art, the Chacha Chaudhary, Calvin Hobbes style. Then you have the hyper real style where you're in the sort of Marvel space. Then, I mean, mixed media has led to a lot of new forms emerge, right? How did you end up deciding what your doodle style was going to be, right? If you can tell us through maybe two or three examples of how your art style has evolved over the years. I'd, I'd love to get uh, deeper into that. Uh, so firstly, like you said, that you are also a doodler. Honestly, everybody is a doodler because what doodling exactly is, is just like how Google defines doodling is just like a scribble that you do mindlessly. So I started calling it doodles because that is how my art has evolved. I used to like doodle on the back of my notebooks and it was very like I wasn't like I wasn't paying 100% attention to it. I'm mostly looking at what the teacher is trying to say in the class and I'm just like mindlessly drawing something on the back of my notebook. So that is what technically a doodle is. And even though like my art form evolved to like a better looking and more effort illustration but I chose to still call it doodles is because like my whole purpose of drawing and like being on social media and like my main purpose is to motivate others to sort of look at my art and feel like yeah maybe I can do it I want it to look very effortless in the sense that people look at it and are inspired to pick up the pen again because like a lot of people do that they have like dm me ki like looked at your work and wanted to journal and wanted to draw something and when that happens my mind is like theek hai mission accomplished so that is what at the end of the day i want to do on social media sort of motivate people to pick up the pen express themselves and my art has never been about the art itself matlab i have never really taken pride in the fact ki i can draw well i have always felt like drawing is secondary what i'm trying to do is sort of trying to tell a story especially like before reels came in my main comics and my main like my main usp was this series that i do which is called sachi ghatna comics and that is basically ki mere sath kuch hua matlab kuch embarrassing hua and i make a full like a 8 9 carousel comic on it and usme kya hai i don't really focus a lot on how the art is looking like ki bahut acha dikhna chahiye but meri story should be like the main hero of the whole whole comic so that is what i usually focus on and that is how like my art form is still evolving i don't say that it's still really great but it's more like ki first i first i used to just ki bas mere ko kuch draw karna hai just to get away from what ca ke teachers are saying then it evolved to that i want to like tell a story i want to communicate what i'm feeling and tell people what happened with me and now because of reels and because of trying to learn animation and uh, trying to do videos it has evolved into how can my doodles dance how can they sort of do a trend how can they do a tiktok so it's still evolving i, I don't know what to name it but it's just going from one place to another as long as it's going somewhere right yeah. it's very interesting that you say that because originally doodling jo skill hai like you said anybody scribbling marginalia in the in a notebook versus producing that for the internet to consume and for millions of people to see requires a significant investment of time in upskilling yourself sure. right you need to learn the technical aspects of drawing right maybe it's color theory maybe it's textures and graphics maybe it's editing maybe it's putting animation and putting all of that together how did you motivate yourself to to learn those skills or, or did you do it yourself did you have help how did you go about that initially when i used to do it along with ca the main motivation was to not study so anyway <laughs> anything that fantastic motivation as anything <laughs> सो so, ऐसा होता है ना कि जब जब एग्जाम्स चल रहे होते हैं तो तुम्हारी चेकलिस्ट होती है कि एग्जाम खत्म होने के बाद मुझे गिटार करना सीखना है मुझे जो है ये करना है सो फॉर मी दैट चेकलिस्ट वॉज कि एग्जाम्स चल रहे हैं ना तो साथ के साथ मेरे को कौन सी नई स्किल सीखनी है मेरे को था कि कुछ लाइक देर शुड बी लाइक समथिंग दैट कीप्स मी अवे फ्रॉम ट्राइंग टू स्टडी एंड फॉर मी दैट वॉज टूडलिंग एंड वेन आई स्टार्टेड टू पुट इट ऑन द इंटरनेट आई रियलाइज दैट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड डिजिटल आर्ट आई यूज टू लाइक look at other other people's art and i used to feel like ki meri comics ke colors are not as pigmented as what this looks like and then i realized that that had been made on, made on a computer while i am trying to make it on a pen and paper like i'm using pen and paper so then i started uh, googling what is digital art how to go about it and i realized that there is something called a digital tablet and uh, there was this wacom tablet that i had researched sabse sasti wali and that was for 4000 rupees and article ship me tab monthly stipend milti thi 1500 rupees out of which 
I used to like spend 300, 400 rupees for like internet and recharge and food. And like I used to like save money and say, how do I buy this 4,000 tablet? And there was also this website, Snapdeal. Tab, and at uh, Diwali ke time, pe, there was a 50% off on the graphic tablet. And I was like, now I buy this. And I purchased that. And I started uh, this journey of digital art, trying to draw something on uh, MS Paint. Then I moved on to some other free software. And then I moved on to a pirated version of Photoshop. Thankfully, now I work with Adobe, so I don't have to pirate software. <laughs> so this is like how the whole process moved about. Ki I used to like Google how to do this, how to do that, and then look at YouTube videos of the same, and then used to like teach myself how to do this and how to do that. And all of this has been like an ongoing journey. For example, I worked with a client and uh, it was, so there was something that had to go in a newspaper. And they asked me to give us like this, the line art that, that I had used. They told me that this is not 100% black. And I didn't realize what they mean because I used color ke se black, use kara tha, matlab, which is the 000 everything. And then this one person explained me that when you go to the CMYK, the color wheel thing, you have to make this this, this, this. But he explained the technicalities of it. That is when I learned one new thing. And then I worked with another project. And then from like, I've just been like learning from my mistakes and learning from what that certain project requires me to learn. So anytime I pick up like something very, very new and somebody asks me to do something, I'm usually Googling, what does And then I teach myself, this is how it's done. Thankfully, now it's been... Like, essay instances happen kafi kam. But pehle I used to be like, har do do minute bar DPI kya hota hai, kitne inch ka wo karna hai, how does my art not pixelate? So all of this has been just like a very steep learning graph for me. And I mean, the great thing about creating for the internet is that it allows you to learn all of these things, even if you are relatively Definitely. someone who's come in late into the field, right? I mean... Definitely. I've heard this from so many people. Let me ask you this though. And this is something that I believe is still a challenge for people who are starting out, right? How do you market yourself as a niche creator? Now you have 300 and some uh, fans on Instagram. That's obviously been built over many years of output and, and working. But yeah. when you were starting out, I'm sure it was a challenge marketing yourself, right? Reaching out to people, Definitely. telling them that... You're available for projects. How, how did you go about doing that? And what learnings can you share with someone who's listening in, maybe starting out in doodling? So honestly, first of all, the art field is here. It requires like a lot of time and patience to grow. Especially reels, before reels, it wasn't like that. You had one post that went super viral chali hai and you gained like a lot of followers. That, that has started happening because of reels. But before that, when you used to like make comics, there was no like one viral post will give you like thousands of followers. So it has been like a very slow graph, especially I think entertainment in the sense where people are showing their faces and have like a face brand value. It's still a little easier even though they have a lot of challenges as well but like they have a better growth graph because of having like their face on it so it has been a slow journey but the only learnings that I have is this there has to be consistency and there has to be this feeling ki for example you work on an art piece and you have a week on it and you put in your soul into it but and you feel like this will go viral, but then it doesn't so that can be very demotivating so I feel like when you're creating for the internet you do not have to be very attached to your art. You have to also realize that internet does not really value perfection. They want quantity. So even if you're like working on a masterpiece, the internet wants like beach me thode work in progress dal do or like eki art piece se do teen trends ke reels nikal do or like basically the internet wants to see your mistakes. They want to, they're more focused on what they're getting out of it in terms of is it like a joke? Is it like a wholesome sort of a feeling that they get after seeing your art is it something inspirational does it motivate them to do something so they're not really looking at how perfect your art is they're just looking at that feeling that they get from your art at the end of the day so people really focus a lot trying to get perfect and I have totally given up on that I don't really I especially when reels came about and I was just learning animation so I was 9 to 10 hours just to make a reel and I used to get so attached to it and it didn't really perform well. And I used to get like very demotivated and I couldn't make content like for the next two, three days. Ki, like, who am I working for? 
इफ पीपल डोंट वैल्यू क्वालिटी बट रील्स के बाद तो मतलब इतनी लिप सिंकिंग वीडियोज और ये देखने के बाद ना तुम्हें लगता है कि यार लोग इतनी कम मेहनत करके इतने वायरल हो रहे हैं वाई एम आई वर्किंग सो मच तो यू हैव टू सॉर्ट ऑफ गेट ओके विद द फीलिंग विद द होल थिंग की कभी कभी तुम भी ऐसे बिल्कुल पंद्रह सेकेंड का कुछ बनाओगे फिफ्टीन सेकेंड की मेहनत के साथ एंड इट माइट ब्लो अप आई हैव मेड अ रील on this uh, there's a wavy filter on instagram and using that wavy filter i just like made something on a piece of paper just like a very easy to do doodle and that whole reel took me about 15 to 20 seconds to make and it reached 3 or 4 million views and something that i like put hours of effort in it barely gets like 100k or 200k views so now i have like given up on the whole idea of ki mere ko bahut zyada mehnat karni mujhe lag mere ko hai ki joke acha hona chahiye लोगों को फर्क नहीं पड़ता है कि तुम कितनी डिटेल्स डाल रहे हो कितनी क्वालिटी डाल रहे हो बट यूर गोइंग फॉर दैट राइट यूर गोइंग फॉर शो केसिंग सो अगेन इट इज बेसिकली बैलेंस तुम ऐसा भी नहीं कर सकते कि बिल्कुल ही क्वांटिटी पे चले जाओ और क्वालिटी पे जीरो फोकस करो बट देन यू विल नॉट गेट एनी ब्रांड वर्क बिकॉज ब्रांड्स एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वांट टू सी समथिंग सब्सटेंशियल सो इट्स बेसिकली अ बैलेंस तो लाइक व्हाट वर्क्स फॉर मी करेंटली इज कि आई वर्क वन इज क्वालिटी देन टू इज क्वांटिटी वाला काम मतलब थोड़ा लो एफर्ट काम वन इज हाई एफर्ट देन टू आर लो एफर्ट सो आई ट्राई टू लाइक मेंटेन अ बैलेंस अगेन आई स्टिल नॉट परफेक्टेड इट तो आई डोंट थिंक आई एम द बेस्ट पर्सन टू बी गिविंग एडवाइस ऑन दिस No, but I love the clarity with which you said, boss. The internet is not interested in your perfection. Yeah, they're interested in looking at it for six seconds, feeling something, either sharing, liking, commenting, and moving on. Right. So exactly. you might spend three days on it, but the average person who's looking at it is looking at it for ten seconds or less, which is a very weird sort of imbalance, right? And if you're going yeah. to spend so much time, and you're going to get demotivated because they didn't really have the same kind of reaction you were expecting you need to understand your audience better and understand what they are seeking from you as a creator much better i love the clarity with which you said that let me ask you this what are some of the creators that you follow that you look up to that you're like hey i really like how this guy tells a story i really like how this girl does her art i'd love to know some creators that that you look up to i think i'm still really fixated on the old sort of instagram which focused on quality and which focused on like this long form content even though mera bhi attention span bahut kam ho rakha hai mujhse aise 5 6 seconds se zyada nahi main focus kar pati but still you know i really like that old school comics that people still do so there's this artist uh, his name is adam tots and he used to work for buzzfeed and then like he's a freelancer now but like he does this very detailed comics he'll convert tweets into comics and he'll do horror stories so i love this person there is this i don't know who the artist is but their instagram page is uh, natural habitat shorts so they do these animated reels of like these animals of like some weird fact about an animal for example like hedgehogs are uh, lactose intolerant so he'll make like a cute reel about it that shows a hedgehog going to a cafe and the barista has accidentally given this hedgehog whole milk so things like that and in the indian scene i am a very big fan of uh, rob art guy rob who used to be in art attack pogo i really love how he is still so relevant in the sense that i think like i sometimes feel like mujhse nahi ho raha instagram mere ko shayad kuch aur dhoond lena chahiye kyunki ye creator journey is just it's just very challenging when you think of it ki mujhe ab relevant rehna hai this this might not be working for me how do i change my game and it it becomes very exhausting at times so i really love how he has figured out that even after being in the industry for so long he is still somebody people look up to so much and he's so relevant and he like he is so talented that like talent is like a lot of people are talented but his main talent is he knows how to market his talent so i am a very big fan of him and like i didn't really watch art attack when i was a kid that much but now to so i'm like are i am a fan of what he does now i love it man i think the internet has really changed I mean, instagram specifically has really changed but there was a time when it was a visual medium right and there were so many artists who were doing such different kinds of work now i think more and more people are making reels but i'm glad that someone like rob is still around changing the way that he is presented his art from tv to you know old media or old new media to what what's happening now right now what what's next for you what are you building towards right i think you've obviously been super successful in taking your doodles and and turning that into a very successful personal brand for yourself but but what's next what are you building to 
okay thank you so much for saying that so i have done like a lot of collaborations in the past and usually brand collaborations aise aati hain ki they have a brief then they have a list of influencers they want to work with a few influencers from each category and then they pitch them ki ye 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 karna hai but the brand is coming to you with a brief like i've done a lot of them and i still want to do it in the future but what i'm looking at now is to do exclusive collaborations like last year for diwali i collaborated with costa coffee and we did like a costa coffee into neha doodles collection where the cup was designed by me and we did a whole event out of it we called like my other creator friends and we like my followers were going to like costa outlets tagging tagging me ki dekho ye wala cup hum use kar rahe hain so i want to do like these exclusive collaborations in which i have more creative liberty to do things i have more control over how the designs are marketed and how like we can somehow come up with something that is that has a lot of recall value when it comes to my followers i also like i also designed the mascot for face shop when they launched in india uh, so it's a korean skin care brand and they didn't really have an indian mascot so we made a mascot we uh, pouches and we made like collectible gifting boxes which people could gift to their friends and they were available at nika and like uh, airports so like these exclusive collaborations now followers also remember matlab us wali collaboration ko 4 saal ho gaye hain but still when i meet somebody who follows me they'll be like are maine wo wala pouch liya tha and like this is what i'm building towards to sort of do collaborations like these with brands and also do something of my own in the sense that i've been doing like this neha doodles calendar for the last 5 4 for 5 years jaise pehle saal when i did the calendar i remember getting 50 pieces printed and usme se panch ya chhe bike the aur baki mujhe apne rishtedaron ko aise diwali pe gift karne pad gaye the so from that to now when like i do like these calendars on a limited edition basis so i give them a pre order date ki is din aayega aur um, last year hamara 30 hours ke andar andar sara stock khatam ho gaya tha that is like how well they went so i'm going i'm also like planning to build on that and do like merchandise which is not very very like ca- common jaise ki matlab t-shirt pe print kar diya ye sab nahi karna mere ko i want to like do very quality sort of merchandise that people can use for at least as a 5 6 years and not like ऐसे एक दो बार यूज करके थ्रो कर दिया सो एम बिल्डिंग टूवर्ड्स दैट एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू लाइक बिल्ड अ ब्रांड ऑन दैट एंड हाउ अबाउट द स्टोरी टेलिंग साइड ऑफ थिंग्स राइट आर यू कीन ऑन मे बी हैविंग कॉमिक शो और 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 लाइक अ कार्टून शो और समथिंग लाइक दैट इज दैट समथिंग दैट्स क्रॉस्ड योर माइंड करेंटली सिंस आई एम मोर फोकस्ड ऑन द शॉर्ट फॉर्म सॉर्ट ऑफ अ कंटेंट आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर हाउ द लॉन्ग फॉर्म कंटेंट वुड डू मेनली बिकॉज़ a lot of effort and abhi na mera mind frame thoda ye ho rakha ki log itna effort value to kar nahi rahe so like why do this much effort on a animation that was something i was considering a few months ago ki i would like do a comic show i would do like a series so i might come back to the idea in a few months and like start doing that again but abhi ke liye i'm like you know physical product something that i can touch and like ye then i might come back to animation once i'm over with this phase and i'm like mera na ye hai ki when i i have like this idea in my head i'm very fixated on it ki everything i do circles to that one idea and jaise hi i drop that idea dusri ek cheez aa jati hai so even if i tell you ki this is my two year plan and if you ask me after two years i might be doing completely different tangent pe kuch aur to theek hai matlab this question is very difficult for me to answer actually <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly that's, that's, I, I, think, I think you you answered it pretty well though. Then you say that hey, I got I'm focused on something. I want to do this, but I will I might come back to it at some other time when it seems seems like the right time, which is a perfectly right answer for for something like that. Let me ask you this before we let you go. Someone told you that you could be a CA, the snap of a finger tomorrow. Would you go back? No, absolutely not. So, uh, so I have a story. मैं जिन सी ए के अंडर आर्टिकलशिप करी थी जिन सर के अंडर करी थी सो उसमें जो मेरे सीनियर थे ही वॉज अ पर्सन हु हैड गिवन लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ अटेम्प्ट ऑफ सी ए उनका नहीं हुआ बट स्टिल लाइक ही गेव अप ऑन सी ए इवन दो लाइक इवन दो ही वॉज इन दी एज स्टिल लाइक द बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग एम्प्लॉय इन द ऑफिस ही वॉज स्टिल द मोस्ट सीनियर मोस्ट इवन दो उनके नीचे दो तीन सी ए थे तो ही वॉज द मोस्ट सीनियर मोस्ट एंड आई यूज टू लाइक रिपोर्ट टू हिम सो दैट पर्सन नाउ हैंडल्स माई फाइनेंसिस एंड लाइक माई जी एस टी एंड लाइक टी डी एस एंड एवरी थिंग एंड ही टोल्ड मी अ फ्यू मतलब एक साल पहले दैट आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट यू डेंट डू सी ए he not because like i was earning well but because he was like he was just proud ki ch chhod ke i have found like something ki which is like giving money also and mera passion bhi pura ho raha hai types that's such a boss move but right yeah 
<laughs> it is. It is. It is. It's amazing, man. Fantastic. And congratulations for for finding something that makes you happy and is good for your bank balance. I think it's <laughs> a combination that. No, really, man. I think that's the beauty of the internet, isn't it? Right. It, yeah. it allows you allow allows more and more people to invest time and energy into doing something that they truly love, that that truly makes them happy, but also gives them a path to monetizing it and and working exactly. with folks. And it's, it's not like monetizing it matlab now it's a job right you can yeah. choose to work with the kind of people you want to work with you can collaborate with who you want to collaborate with like you said i'm going to focus on merch right now maybe next year i'll figure out if i want to turn it into an animation series and when you do want to turn it into an animation series i'm pretty sure that the the management ecosystem around you will find the right people for you to collaborate with and and work with as well so it's a world of possibilities and i'm and i'm so glad that neha Sharma has become Neha Doodles with uh, <laughs> so much joy and happiness for everyone around. I definitely agree. Also, just last one thing I would like to add is I love the social media. I owe my entire career to it, obviously. But like, just if Indian Idol, when it first came out, then I don't know, Anu Malik or who, somebody used to say that. Indian Idol has given a platform to the world that anyone can become a singer in the world. So I feel like the internet is now that because like imagine somebody like me who has no artistic background, who never, who used to get a C in school in art and crafts class and has never gone to art school pursuing a career as an illustrator. So I feel the internet is a great space and also gives you so much opportunities to do what, what you actually feel interested in. Absolutely. Would you go to art school though? At this point, let me ask you the other flip side. I think. Can I give a very honest answer? I think I might be we, judged we for accept, this. But if we accept, we accept no other kind. <laughs> I think ऐसे देखो मतलब आर्ट सीखने के पर्पज से तो मैं नहीं जाना चाहूंगी बट अगर मुझे ऐसे किसी बाहर के स्कूल में टू लाइक इंजॉय द कॉलेज लाइफ दैट आई मिस्ड बाहर जाना हो तो आई माइट गो इंडिया में जाना होगा जस्ट टू लर्न लाइक लर्न आर्ट देन आई माइट नॉट गो नॉट सींग दैट आर्ट स्कूल इन इंडिया आर नॉट नाइस आई एम जस्ट सींग आई एम नॉट गोइंग फॉर द आर्ट आई एम ओनली गोइंग फॉर द अवारा गर्दी वाला एक्सपीरियंस या बिल्कुल यार आई थिंक आई आई फील यू आई मीन लाइक आई My closest friend from childhood, who is also a Sharma now that I think of it, who did CA, has the same complaint. Yeah, I have missed so much time in my life. Exactly. I have missed college experience. Yeah, 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 I have Yes, I actually did a post about it. Like social, like I made a comic about it. That how do people have a group of friends to hang out with on Saturday, and why don't I have it? And then people started DMing me. कि मेरे पास भी नहीं है मैं चलता हूँ तुम्हारे साथ. It's just I also did a piece. <laughs> <laughs> so मतलब ये तो मैंने I didn't like make a WhatsApp group out of it, but I would have gotten people to go clubbing with me if I wanted to. So Sunday को like last Sunday I did a cycling to India Gate 50 kilometers. to and fro from india gate and all of the people that were part of the group were from my social media i put up a story on my instagram that i want to like cycle to india gate so who's up for it and usme logo ne fir mujhe dm kiya i added them to a whatsapp group and then we coordinated and everything so yes that's so cool man that internet hai to possible hai <laughs> bilkul bilkul and we need to get a sponsor on this show for the inter- from the internet but that that's wonderful man I'm, i mean i'm so glad that doodling has opened up this sort of world of possibilities absolutely smashing talking to you nia thank you so much for taking time out and uh, being on storytellers and story sellers i hope you had fun yes of course we're going to wrap this episode up that's it from me and from neha on this episode of storytellers and story sellers if you like this episode share it with someone who doodles who can take the inspiration and start their own journey with the wonderful tools that the internet throws at you and ask them to follow neha doodles at neha dot doodles <laughs> i'm at ashchari of fuck it on wherever you get to follow people thank you so much to the wonderful folks at ibm who produce this show shout out to saurabh sharma for being the guy who makes this possible that's it from me what else are you waiting for me to say go this is mini kanabar saying goodbye <laughs>